back with another video. I am heading to Mike's Toys and Stuff. And a bit before they open, um, I got a lot of stuff I got to do today. So he, you know, Mike's always nice enough to let me in. I got to pick up a uh, figure right here that uh, I messaged him to see if he had, and he does have it. It is a horror figure, so I'm pretty hyped to see if he, you know, what it looks like. Whoa, that's almost an accident right there waiting to happen. Dude. That is crazy. Yeah, you know, it's just no respect anymore when people drive. Like, this guy didn't even want... Nah, too much to say. Anyways, we're, we're here. Mike's toys and stuff. Looks like his doors are open. I don't think he's, like, actually open, though. But let's let's head in. Here, Mike's toys and stuff. That's your area. Dude. And that there were too many other... He's awesome. Wow. Didn't, didn't let me, uh, wow. It's horror. There's not one Diamond Select. Mm. What is this? Darkwing Duck. It's pretty freaking awesome. Oh man, they still need to get a saber too. This thing is beast. Still want, I still need to get all these. What else do we got? Ah, the old school play arts. Kai. This is I still I still want this one too. Anime. Oh man, a new the storm. First time seeing that one too. Rogue. Oh man. Show a little comparison. There's that. There's the two. I might as well do a comparison with the older Gambit. Check that out. Yeah, it's definitely a difference. All right, so this is what I got from Mike's Toys and Stuff, the Chucky Ultimate TV series. This is what I went for. And man, this looks really good. Look at that. Oh, this is so awesome. Love this show. Check this out. This is actually my first time seeing a firestorm. This actually looks pretty good. Oh, there's a chase on him too but that's pretty cool to actually see this. speaking of this man i freaking i need one of these i need the series x not the fridge wait is that the fridge i don't know if that's the fridge yeah it is a fridge no i want that one though so i asked one of the workers here if they have a sinestro chase in the back he's gonna go look so the idea now is you know, I'm, I'm gonna take some pictures and at least all right, this is going to be like a crazy transition. This is Sunday as I'm filming this. The day after I went to Mike was, was Saturday was when I went to Mike to get that Chucky Ultimate. I came back and he uncovered a Bane DC gallery statue, which is not easy to come by anymore. I've been asking him for one of these since I first met Mike. And I gave him a list originally of stuff I, was, I wanted. And uh, he didn't know if he had any of these. And it's been over a year, I think, now that me and Mike have, have met and now he stumbled upon a box so he's got a couple more and this is this is an amazing piece this is such a great piece and it's it's supposed to be i'm sure it's supposed to be nightfall but he's holding on to batman's cowl with the cape this is a gorgeous piece i can't wait to open this bad boy up this is this is going into one of the detoff cases just a just a great piece i they did a comic run on on batman i own the two-faced one I'm still on the, I own the Batman one too, but I'm still on the hunt. Oh, I own the Robin one too. It's like the Tim Drake Robin. I'm still on the hunt for Scarecrow and the Penguin. I wish they would have done like a Mr. Freeze and a Clayface. That would have been, that would have been really cool. So thank you, Mike. Guys, check them out. Mike's Toys and Stuff, Anaheim, California. All right, gang, we got an unboxing from Entertainment Earth. You guys know I got a link. This is an exclusive figure that I have that I got from Entertainment Earth. It's a, uh, one of those sketches that McFarlane's doing. I'm collecting these, believe it or not. How many of you guys are out there collecting all like the, the sketch um, variants here? I don't want that mask to fall. So we can slice through this. How are you guys doing? Huh? There we go. So let's open this bad boy up. And we got a sketch figure. There it is. Check it out. This is so cool. The sketch edition, Batman White Knight. I love these sketch editions. I like the packaging on these two. I think these are freaking awesome. And then, you know, this over here, I still have these ones over here. Oh, my Jason mask. Put you right, right next to 
right next to Chucky really quick. If you open this up, I have my other sketch editions in this bin that I need to review still. I got my white, um, uh, sorry, Spawn, Joker Who Laughs, and I, st I still got some of the black light ones. Joker, uh, this is a sketch edition of Superman, and some other McFarlane, this is all McFarlane, <laughs> except for uh, that Funko Pop over there, so. Yeah, got this guy, newly added. Pretty freaking awesome, man. Totally forgot I had this too, my Ghoulies 2 throw blanket. I'm gonna put this thing to use, man. Actually dimmed down the lights. So this Jason mask here is the, I think it was a Toys R Us exclusive, the video game version, the glow in the dark. I have two of these. I actually have one sealed, uh, but this one here is a closed version, or not a closed version, an open version that I had for years and it cracked. So I think it actually makes it look really pretty cool. But again, I have another one of these. So I just want to shine the black light on this here. Oh man, that looks sick, right? The crack mask like makes it look really, really creepy. I'm gonna be doing this for, um, I'm gonna put this up for my Halloween decorations this year. That's awesome. What's up guys? So this is uh, the end of the video. I am gonna do one more hunt, one more place I'm going to, and that's gonna be Best Buy. I did a pre-order on a steel book that's coming out. I did a video already that you guys know. Best Buy's closing, selling, Blu-rays, DVDs, all that stuff. Not closing, but they're they're gonna stop selling it. Uh, I did my video, my thoughts on it, and I think it's a big mistake on Best Buy's Best Buy's part. But it is what it is, you know. Got to roll with the punches. Um, but I am gonna head over there and see or we'll pick up my steelbook. It's definitely a, a sci-fi horror movie that I grew up loving. It's a remake. Before I get there, can you guys guess what it is? It's a sci-fi horror remake from the '80s doesn't leave a lot of uh you know there's not a lot of room there to, to really think about what it is because it's not it doesn't break it down but yeah so this this toy hunt i guess you can say was kind of all over the place um i actually filmed more stuff in between but that's going to be in a separate video so this is a bunch of little clips i guess throwaway clips that made it in to this video like going to mike's toys and stuff uh picking up that bane picking up that chucky figure uh, lots of little clips so but yeah i'm gonna end it off going to best buy right now and let's see if there's any nightfall batmans there because there's there's been a lot of nightfall batmans sitting at um at best buys and uh we'll go from there so follow me all right guys i'm currently at best buy right now i'm gonna walk through and see what they got see check out the new releases see if they even put out the steel books because for pumpkin head i had to go ask them because they had it in the back so we'll see what they have for new releases and new figures all right, for NECA and Gargoyles, you can see what they have here. And there's their Lego section. They got Flash. Imagine finding a Chase here, which I really doubt because I think those two have been sitting there for a while. Uh, NECA's, they still got Invisible Man. Super 7's, you got Creature of the Black Lagoon. They got two of them here. They still have the Phantom of the Opera, Halloween Kills. Friday the 13th, a lot of Halloween Kills here. There's some more Friday the 13th and Hellraiser and Predators. And they have the Elvira. And the Turtle 2-pack. A lot of stuff sits here at this Target, or at this Best Buy. But right over here, we got the Blu-rays. So we can see what they have over here. And if they have what I'm coming to pick up, I'll let you know. If not, I'll show you guys on the way out. But it doesn't look like they have the Steelbook or the 4K version of the item that I'm that I'm getting outside of the store, which is weird. The boogeyman. There's some more. No, they don't have it. That's so crazy. It's not even under the freaking new releases, which is weird. So it's like you got to go and start asking them in the back if they have certain movies. So they got a little end cap over here. I've, I've shown this off before. Oh yeah, they, this is where I originally saw Godzilla. So it looks like they have a couple of them. Frankenstein, Last Ronin figures, Gargoyle. Again, this stuff has been untouched, not touched at all. All right, so they're getting my Blu-ray from the back. See, watch them say they don't have it, but they're getting it right now. Here it is, the Steelbook for The Blob, the remake version from the 80s. I freaking love this movie. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely give it a check out. It's a very underrated sci-fi horror movie. It doesn't get talked about a lot. I, I own the Screen Factory version, but obviously this is a 4K Ultra plus it's a steel book. So <laughs> this is pretty sick. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have picked up anything recently. 
or if you're out there or even blu-rays steelbooks just let me know what you're out there looking for thank you guys for watching we'll see you soon later